Remember this hand where Ivy offers Helmuth insurance? Right, five, what is this six to one, right? Okay, I'll take it for four and a half. <laughs> now, we're all probably familiar with taking out insurance of some kind, but what about at the poker table? GG Poker offers insurance with their EV cash out option when all in before the river. To qualify, all you need is more than 60% equity and for the pot to be more than 20 big blinds. The cash out amount is the pot size minus the rake plus jackpot fee times equity, with a fee of 1% of the cash out value. So like any insurance, this comes at a cost and many regular players often neglect this feature. But is this always right? We can use the Kelly criterion to help us decide on whether we should in fact consider taking the cash out. We'll start with a coin toss as an example, but with a twist. Heads you win, tails you lose. But imagine if on tails you lose your bet, but with heads you win your bet back plus double the amount you bet. Basically getting 2 to 1 odds on a 50-50 flip. Obviously this game favours you and you'd want to maximise your winnings. However, if you were to bet your entire net worth every flip, you'll very likely end up broke. On the other hand, if you bet too little, you won't be maximising your edge. So how can the Kelly criterion help us solve this problem? This formula gives us the optimal bet size to maximise long-term profits without risking bankruptcy. In this game with a 50% probability of winning and pot odds of 2 to 1, we get this. Meaning you should bet 25% of your bankroll each flip. Back to poker and our cash out dilemma. We can flip our perspective and assume that cashing out is the default option. We can use the Kelly criterion to evaluate whether we should forfeit the cash out and instead take the risk of running the board. Here the pot odds B is the amount we stand to win, the pot minus the cash out value, divided by the amount we stand to lose, which is simply the cash out value. P is our equity. Doing a bit of substituting gives us the following, which allows us to figure out the optimal fraction of our bankroll we should be willing to risk when choosing to decline the cash out and run the board. We can plot F against equity. We get this cool graph. The area under the line is where we can decline the cash out according to the Kelly criterion. We can also look at the maximum pot size we can decline the cash out, depending on the size of our bankroll. Anything above the line and we should be taking the cash out. One important caveat is that the formula doesn't account for what happens afterwards. If we've recently moved up stakes and expect to earn more per hour, our risk tolerance should decrease, making the cash out option more appealing. Another caveat is that the Kelly criterion kinda lives in a bubble, in that it doesn't account for money we're hopefully winning in between. As poker players we aren't only playing cash out situations, which means we're also less likely to go broke. But nevertheless, it gives us a decent baseline for when we should think about taking insurance. So should we be a bit more like Phil when all in and ahead? Comment below if you take out insurance on your poker hands, or if you're more willing to test it out now that you've seen the maths. Okay. Honey, I just insured the hand. Ivy shimmy shamped Helmuth. If we lose the pot, Ivy has to pay me $90,000. We got insurance. 